lot of folks don't know that Texas is one of the country's major pecan producers. And as our next Food Finds reveals, folks who live in the Lone Star State are nutty about this nut and the pie that bears its name. In Texas, everything is big, even appetites. Here, that independent pioneer spirit still lives on. And few personified better than Jim Good, a commercial artist and lifelong fisherman who decided to try something new. And we don't just mean shaving. I said, man, I'm tired of this. I'm either going to open a bait shop or a barbecue place. Good decided that the smell of barbecue beat that of a bait shop any day. And along with his uncle and mother, Emma, the Good Company was born. But even Emma's home cooking wasn't enough to make the place an overnight success. So, in the slower times, the three would sit around cracking pecans. That's when Joe and Emma created the dessert that has become a good company staple. We went from uh, cracking pecans to making pecan pie. We added a few extra things to it and cooked it a little bit different. And it hadn't changed much. Today, the goods have little time for cracking nuts, and their Brazos Bottom Pecan Pie, named for the state's longest river, is as popular as the barbecue. Great barbecue and really good pie. With five different locations throughout Houston, one of which was converted from an old train car, pie production is a full-time operation. It tastes homemade, like they must have made this today. And that's because they did. Jim's son, Levi, is helping to carry on the family tradition, and he took us into the kitchen to show us how to make pecan pie, Texas style. With our Brazos Bottom Pecan Pie, we start with our dry ingredients uh, for our crust. Flour, a little salt. The crust of the pie dough is the foundation for what makes uh, a great pie. The next step involves incorporating the wet ingredients, some of which are secret, but water and eggs help form the sturdy dough. Well, my grandmother used to do these pies. She used to hand roll the dough for each pie shell. Since, since they've been such a big hit over the years, we've got to a point where we depend on modern machinery to help form our pie shells. Once the shells are prepared, a few more wet, secret ingredients are mixed with fresh whole butter. Okay, get all that goodness whole eggs, and finally, a splash of vanilla. Then, the star of this rich dessert takes the stage. These aren't pecans. These are real, genuine Texas pecans. Heaven in the making, right here. The pies bake for 45 minutes and emerge from the oven glistening and heavy with the aroma of toasty pecans, vanilla, and golden crust. Once cool, they're on their way to either one of the restaurants or you. I think it's delicious. Extremely rich. Very good. That's good pie. <laughs> <laughs> the good ship their pies all over the U.S., and like everything else in Texas, they do it big. These beautiful wooden boxes serve as both a safe carriage and a souvenir to remind you of just where your pie came from. You might get some serious thought to think your lucky stories here in Texas. But Jim Good is quick to remember that one thing runs deeper and longer than even the Brazos River, family. In a nutshell, you might say the Good Company is the lone star dream come true. There's a thing about respect here in Texas that uh, is real, real important to us. And Mom and Uncle Joe's star is our pecan pie. The Good say if you can't thank your lucky stars you're in Texas, well, their pecan pie might be the next best thing. <laughs>